Sesame Street. Nice to see you again. Would you like to take a look at some uh, some pictures that I have? Would you like to take a look too? You know what I have here? Why don't you come on over here, Chris, so you can see a little better. You know what these are? Some pictures of some animals, right? What I want you to do is tell me the name of the animal and what you call their babies, okay? Okay. Now what's, you know what this is, right? Okay. What is it? A cat, right? And the other one's a kitten. They have kittens. Babies have kittens, right? How about this one? A dog. What is it, Joe? A dog. Mm hmm. And pups. Pups. Little puppies, right? Mm hmm. How about this one? A horse. A horse? Yep. Do you know what you call it? A baby horse. A baby horse? There's another name for it, too. You can call it a baby horse, or you could call it a... I have on a sesame street, but I forgot. Foal. That's a funny name for a baby horse, isn't it? Foal is the name of a baby horse. You know this one, right? Rooster. Hmm? Rooster. Uh, I think that's probably not a rooster. I think that's probably the mother hen, isn't it? You call the mother... Hen. A hen, and you call the daddy a rooster, right? What do you call the babies, Chris? Baby chickens. Baby chicks, right. Little chicks. How about this one? A big goat. Big goat. Hmm? A goat. A goat? No. I think that's a... A cow. A cow, a right, Chris. Calf. And what do you call the baby? Do you know that, Jill? A calf. A what? A calf. A calf, right. What's the calf doing, do you think, with his mommy there? Getting, getting her. Right, she's being fed. She's drinking her breakfast, maybe, right? Getting some milk? That's right. She can't get no milk because she doesn't have one, don't right? You don't think? Yeah, she has milk. She has one of... Oh, she doesn't have one. Oh, she doesn't have milk. No, not yet. But the mommy has, has some milk, right? You know, sometimes uh, babies don't always have mommies around to get to get their milk from, right? And then they have to be fed in a different way. In the farm. A lot of different ways, right. Would you like to see how some other babies are fed? Okay, watch right here. Okay? Watch.
Hi there. Hey, listen, do you know what this is? Yes, that, that's a seven. Right. Well, I'm going to sing a song that has lots of sevens in it, see? And when I'm finished, I have a riddle for you, okay? Okay. As I was going to say, Ives, I met a man with seven wives. You met a man with seven wives. And every wife had seven sacks. Every sack had seven cats. Every cat had seven kittens. Kittens, cats, sacks, wives. How many were going to say, Ives? I mean, how many were going to say, Ives? How many were going to say, Ives? Okay, that's the riddle. How many were going to say, Ives? Oh, oh boy, are you kidding? See, you sang that song so fast, I can't add all those seven so fast. Okay, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. What? I'll sing a song once more, and then you have to answer it. Oh, okay, okay? I'll, I'll figure it out on some paper here. As I was going to say, Ives, I met a man with seven wives. Yeah, you met a man with seven wives, I know that. And every wife had seven sacks. Seven sacks. Every sack had seven cats. Seven cats. Every cat had seven kittens. Seven kittens. 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 Wives, how many wives? were going to say it Yeah, that's the question. How many were going to say it eyes, huh? How many were going to say it Okay, well, 17 cats and seven... Uh, 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 seven carry the two, and that's... Okay, uh, that, that's, that's the riddle. That's the riddle. Sacks. And how many were going to say it eyes? You have to uh, answer now. Let me see. I'm still figuring. 99 cats, uh, you give up? 78 wives. Well, no, I'm, I don't have time to figure, you see. No, your time is and, uh, up. So and the answer one, two, is... Three, the answer is one. One? One. Just me. See, I said, as I was going to St. Ives, I met a man with seven wives. You see, the man and his seven wives, and all those people were going the other way. See, the, the, the riddle was how many were going to St. Ives, uh -huh. and I was the only one going to St. Ives because all the others were going the, the other way. How many? What? How many were going the other way? Well, gee, I, I never thought about that. that. That's not part of the riddle. Yeah. One man, seven wives, 49 sacks, 343 cats, 2,401 kittens. That makes 2,801 that were going the other way. Hmm. How about that? Throat hurts. I have a sore throat. Let's see. Open your mouth. Ooh. Hey, it looks kind of red down there, Farley. It probably hurts you, huh? What's yeah. Farley's throat? What's wrong with Farley? Open, Let open me your see. mouth. Got a sore throat. Look at that. Oh, that's why he's crying. Yeah. I might no. cry myself with a throat <laughs> like that. Yeah. No, that's not why I'm crying. It's not. Then why are you crying? Because oh, the doctor says I have to have my tonsils out. Well, that's okay. Lots of people have their tonsils out, but should you be out outside playing with your with your throat so sore? Yeah. Well, he said it was okay, but I'm so scared. But the, oh. calm, why are you so scared? Calm down. Why? Well, because I'm gonna have to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And 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 mm -hmm. the, I won't have any toys there and. And, and I'll be alone without mommy and daddy, and it's going to hurt, and I don't know how long they're going to keep me oh, there. Farley, 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 Farley don't worry about a thing, there. Farley. Just keep your chin up. Be brave about the whole thing, Farley. It's no big problem to go in the hospital and get your tonsils out. Nothing, right. nothing to it at all. I don't Small believe, little, hey, don't believe what? I don't what? believe you're giving him all this advice about how to be so brave about having your tonsils out. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Boy, have you got some memory. What about a, about a year and a half ago? You came home early from school, all upset. Hi, honey. Well, what did the doctor say? <clears throat> what did the doctor say? Yeah, about your throat. Um, he said I had a sore throat. Now, honey, you've had a sore throat for a week. That's not news. What did he say about it? Uh, he said, you don't want to know what he said, because you wouldn't believe it. I'm going to tell you what he said. <coughs> he said, you think you're really going to believe this? Gordon, what did the doctor <coughs> say? He said, he said I had to have my tonsils out. But Your I, tonsils? Yeah. We've been married all this time, and I didn't even know you still had your tonsils. Yeah, they're right in here. At your time. age, you gotta have your tonsils out, huh? <laughs> tonsils. 
tonsils. Oh, well, that, that's a minor operation. Uh, I don't know about the minor operation thing. The problem is, you know, like, I've got to go to the hospital, and you know what that's all about, and, and I've got to get, you know, probably the shots and make have ether and go to sleep and all that stuff. And I don't, I don't well, you know, I mean, it's, it's, you know, I don't mind, but I never had... I are, never you had afra- are you afraid? Huh? No, no, but... Well, see, the whole thing is I never had an operation before. I was always, you know, healthy and yeah, going around the street and run, do this, do that, do the other thing. <clears throat> now, all of a sudden, the guy tells me I got to go to the hospital and get an operation. Well, most and people I don't, don't like the hospital. Yeah. It's an honest apprehension. I've never had an operation before. I'm going to be in there, you know, I got to leave you all by yourself and, I'm, you know, be in the whole place there and all that period of time and everything. Nobody around I know and all that kind of stuff. Well... I, I don't feel like, you know, otherwise it's I don't okay mind. It's okay to, to, you know, not yeah. want to do it, but it, you'll yeah. be all right. It's, uh, uh, it's a minor operation. Minor operation. You mean you were afraid, too? Afraid? Oh, no, I wasn't afraid, Farley. And well, I'm a little bit, maybe I was... Well, actually, Farley, yeah, I guess I was a little bit afraid at first because that was because I didn't know. I didn't know what it was like in the hospital. But now, as soon as I got in there, Farley, everything was okay. No yeah. problem. Oh, yeah. A lot of people around there were trying to make me feel better. See? And they got everything straight. Well, Farley, you know, I used to work in a hospital, and you don't think I'm a terrible person? No, that's true. Gee, if there were people like you there, it would be okay. Well, there are. There are lots of people like me. Hey, you know what? Huh. I have a bunch of pictures upstairs, and they'll show you just what to expect when you go to the hospital. Why don't you come look at them? Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. See, and Farley, I'll tell you all about my own personal experience with the whole thing, okay? Good. Let's Come go, Brett. Now, Farley, these pictures are going to show you what to expect. Now, don't cry. Don't cry. See? Look, here's a friend of mine, Chris, and his mommy and daddy outside the hospital. What's he going to the hospital for? Well, he's going to have his tonsils out. Oh, you mean his mother and father can go to the hospital with him? Oh, sure. Look, they're checking in. There's Chris, and uh, they stay with him all the time to keep him company and make sure that he's comfortable and everything. Gee, I didn't know that. Oh, sure. Your mommy and daddy can go with you. Look, now, Chris is in his bed in his hospital room. There's his nurse. And you know that bed is really great. It's special. It's got a crank, and it goes up and down, and buttons to push and everything. It'll be fun. Hey, look, he brought his teddy bear with him. Oh, sure. You can bring your toys with you. Wouldn't that make you feel better? Oh, I sure would. Gee, that's great. Look, now he's on this cart with wheels, and he's going to go for a ride down the hall to the operating room to get his tonsils out. Well, who are those people? Well, that's an orderly, a nurse, and a doctor, and they're going to stay with him all the time while he gets his tonsils out. Yeah, but where's Mommy and Daddy? Oh, well, they're going to wait in the room, see? They'll be waiting as soon as you get back to the room. Your Mommy and Daddy will be there. And uh, the doctor here will take the tonsils out. You see, when your tonsils get sick, that's what makes them hurt, see? And that makes your throat sore. So the doctor puts you to sleep, and he takes your tonsils out, and then your throat heals up, and then you won't have those sore throats like that anymore. You mean I go to sleep? Yeah, and the doctor takes your tonsils out. And then they take you back to your room and give you ice cream to soothe it, see? Because ice cream's cold. That sounds great, but Chris doesn't look too happy. Well, Farley, that's because he, his throat still hurts, you see. It hurts? Oh, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah. It hurts? Well, no, don't worry now, because, you know, right after the operation, it's going to hurt for a little while because it's still a little bit sore. But then after a couple of days, it'll go go away and everything will be okay again. Yeah, and you won't have those sore throats like you have all the time. See, it'll just hurt for a while, and then you'll be ready to go home. See, Chris is all ready to go home. There's Mom and Dad. He's checking out the hospital. They come to take me home? Mom and Daddy come to take me home? Sure. And 
Well, 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 will you visit me in the hospital? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. I'll bring we'll you comic with. books. I'll bring ice cream. I'll yeah, bring what ice kind of ice cream do you want us to bring? Oh, gee, chocolate. That's chocolate? my favorite, yeah. Sure. And, okay, I'll bring anything you want. Mm -hmm. And you know what? What? I'll do it. Good. I, I guess it won't be much fun, but, well, the doctor says I have to. And, and there'll be other kids there. There'll be other kids mm -hmm. there, yeah, sure. Right. And, and I can take some of my toys with me. Sure. Mm -hmm. You'll mm -hmm. come to visit. I'll oh, come yeah, visit right. you on my way to work. We all come mm -hmm. to visit you. Gee, I better go figure out what toys I want to take to the hospital. Oh, mm -hmm. you're being very brave. Good boy.
Hello there, everybody. Today I'm going to teach you a whole bunch of things, so you look and listen closely. Okay, here goes. Around, 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 over, and under, and through. That's what I'm teaching. Around, 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 over, and under, and through. You see? Now watch. Near. Far. Near. Let go far again. Far. See? That's what it's all about. Do you understand? Okay, I'll show you one more time. Whew. Around. 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 Over. And under. And through. You see? Now, that's what I'm teaching. Now, you understand all that. Isn't that nice? You don't understand all that. I gotta show you again. Okay, watch. Around. 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 Over. And under. And through. You see? Around. 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 Over. And under. And through. And here's near. Near. Here we go over here. Far. And we go after. Near again. It's near. We have to go all the way back there again. Far. And we come up over here. Oh, I'm so glad you understand. You don't. Oh. Around. 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 Over and under and through. You see? Oh boy. Over. See? And under and through. And we go once more. We go over and under and through and through and through and through. I did it. You know, I guess for Farley, probably happiness would be getting rid of his tonsils. Yeah, and think of all the ice cream he's oh, gonna give. Maybe ten different kinds. At least two kinds. Happiness is two kinds of ice cream. Finding your skate key or telling the time. Oh, I remember the first time I told time all by myself. Happiness is learning to whistle. Tying your shoe for that very first time. Mm. Makes you independent. Right. Happiness is playing the drum in your own school band. And the happiness is walking hand in hand. Happiness is five different crayons. Knowing a secret. Climbing a tree. Happiness is finding a nickel. Catching a firefly, setting him. Happiness is being alone every now and then. And happiness is coming home again. That's a good feeling. Happiness is morning and evening, daytime and nighttime too. For happiness is anyone and anything at all that's love. By you. Ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. Today I am pleased to be able to introduce to you a most distinguished gentleman who is going to speak to you on a very important subject, the different ways people feel. Now it is with great pride that I give to you Professor Hastings. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, professor. Ladies. Uh, no, 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 professor, hmm? uh, over this way, please. Right. Uh, professor, hmm? around here. See, the audience is out here. Oh. I was talking over there. Yes, it's over here. Oh, excuse me. Okay, take it away, Professor. It is all yours. Is it? 
Yes, it is. It's all yours. Yeah. Young man. Hmm? What's all mine? The audience. The audience is all yours, Professor. So you're going to tell them all about the oh. different ways people feel. Uh, yeah, okay? yeah, quite, yes, uh-huh. You see, there are many different ways people feel. <clears throat> First of all, people can feel... Uh, People can feel very happy, or, on the other hand, people can also feel, uh, uh, oh, oh, no, oh, 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 The game. Oh, we lost the game. We lost the game. We lost. We lost. We lost. We lost. We lost the game, and we're so sad. Oh. Yeah, sad, sad. Yes, yes. People can feel sad too. What was that? Now, young man. Step back. Turn around. Huh. Do you know that you're a frog? Yes, I know I'm a frog, and I'm proud of it. Just so long as you know. Young man, why am I here? Oh, you're supposed to tell everybody about the different ways people can feel. Oh, oh yes, oh yes, yes. People sometimes can feel. Wait, I know you. You just told me why I'm here. That's right. Oh, good to see you again. Huh. Uh... You tell me again. You know, Professor, you seem pretty confused. Oh, confused, yes, quite, thank you. People also can feel uh, confused. And, young, young man. Yes, Professor? <laughs> Professor? Well, uh, that ends another exciting lecture, I guess. Um, so thank you all very much. Uh, come on, Professor. Professor! Eh, eh, yeah, yeah. Th this way out, please. Oh, yes, quite, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. i
somebody come and be my friend and watch the sun till it rains again. Somebody come and play today. talking to you from high atop the letter A. A looks like an upside down V with a line across the middle. You can see that right here. A is the first letter in the alphabet and the first letter in many words, such as apple, anchor, apron, uh, automobile, animals, And uh, A is also first in arrow. Watch it, man. What the hell is that? that thing? Airplane. Accordion. Ash can. 
Let's see. I, uh, I had one more A around here somewhere. Can't, uh, think of it right now. That's it. Avalanche. And you can add one more word to that list, of course, if you care to. Ambulance. Aeroplane starts with A. that you uh, have a banana in your ear? What was that, Bert? I said you have a banana in your ear, Ernie. Uh, bananas are food they are to eat, not to put in your ear, Ernie. What'd you say, Bert? Will you just take that banana out of your ear? I'm sorry, you'll have to speak a little louder, Bert. I can't hear you. I have a banana in my ear. A. Ape. banana in your ear. What? I said you still have that banana in your ear. Yeah, Bert, I know. You know? Ernie, why is that banana still in your ear? Listen, Bert, I use this banana to keep the alligators away. Alligators? Ernie, mm -hmm. there are no alligators on Sesame Street. Right. It's doing a good job, isn't it, Bert? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the capital letter A. Next to it is the small letter A. Many words begin with this letter. Alligator, for instance. An alligator is an American reptile, similar to the crocodile, but having a shorter and flatter head. They have also been known to be extremely dangerous. Hey! You know, I just did see an alligator on Sesame Street. Huh. I guess I better get a new banana. I think this one's broken. Boy, I have lots of things here today, but I wonder how many of them start with the letter A. Let's see. No. Oh, the apple starts with the letter A. And let's see. Asparagus, that starts with the letter A. And... Oh, the avocado. Avocado starts with the letter A. Hello there, boys. Hello. Hi. Do you know what this is? No. What? It's the letter A. No. What? Would you like to hear a story about the letter A, boys? Well, I got a bus to catch. And I got to go feed my pet elephant. Very well, then. Watch this. A is for apple and also for ant, who tries to climb up it but finds that he can't. Darn it! I'm hungry! A is for arrow that flies through the air and slices the apple while it's sitting there. A is for archer who claims his reward with the help of a bag and a big silver sword. A is for ant again, chasing his foe and finally biting him on the big toe. Wow! Now A is the ant racing off with the bag, causing the archer to say, What a drag! Well, boys, that was a story about the letter A. What'd you think of it? Groovy. Fine. And do you know what the moral of the story was, boys? Yeah. Archers who steal ants' apples get bitten on the ankle. What do you mean, ankle? He was bitten on the toe. Yeah, but toe doesn't begin with a letter A. Good thinking, child. Oh, 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 Oscar, my friend. Oh, I had so much fun. You know that? Yeah, we played yeah. all those games. And we sure did. Oh, look at all those games down there. We should have cleaned them up, Oscar. 
Yeah. Oh, All yes. 46 games we played. Yeah, we had so much fun. Mm. Hey, Oscar. Hey, what? I got the game to play. It's called Alphabet Game. Well, you play? I don't want to play it. I knew you'd want to play it. Mm. Okay, now, here, I'm going to start, okay? A is for Apple. B is for Black. C is for Cute. D is for Disgusting. E is for Enjoy. F is for Frightful. G is for Glad and also for Grover. Mm. H is for horrible. Uh, I is for ice cream. J is for junk. K is for... Kiss. Well, L is for lousy. And mm. M is for marvelous. And N is for nice. N is for nice. O is for Oscar. O? Huh. P is for play. Q is for quit. R is for run. S is for sickening. T is for terrific. U is for ugly. V is for vanilla. W is for worst. X is for xylophone. And Y is for yucky, and Z is for zero, and that's what saying the alphabet is with you, yucky and a great big zero! I liked it. Today's secret drawing will be a policeman. He's a policeman. starts with the letter A. Let's follow it.
You know, speaking about words that start with a letter A, I've got one. Really? Yes. Friends. Friends doesn't start with a letter A. Well, I'll tell you why friends. Because in Spanish, friend is called amigo. And that starts with a letter A. Or amiga, if it is a girl. And amiga starts with the letter A. <laughs> Hey! 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 Oh, boy. These are Bert's cookies here, see? But boy, am I hungry. Hmm. I don't know if I can just sit here and look at those cookies. Cover my eyes so I won't see them. Ooh. I'm so hungry for cookies. I bet Bert wouldn't mind if I, if I took one of these cookies and just took a teeny weeny, teeny weeny little taste off of... <laughs> Bert wouldn't mind if I did that, would he? That's got one. Uh, so I better even it up. I better... yeah. Oops. A little too much of it. Now it's... Better make it round. No, I better... Oh, he'd notice that was smaller than the others, I think, wouldn't he? Oh, well. Uh oh. Now I ate one of Bert's cookies. Mm. Well, maybe he won't remember how many he had. <laughs> hey, 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 well, here I am, Ernie, ready for my five cookies. He remembered. Hey, Ernie, old pal, thanks a lot for watching my cookies. But oh, well, you're away, welcome. You know? uh, you're welcome there, Yeah, I'm going to eat my five cookies now, so move over. Excuse me. Huh. Yeah, uh, well, there they are, Bert. Uh, mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Ernie? Hmm? Ernie! Oh, yes, sir? Yeah, uh, there are only uh, four cookies here. Well? Mm hmm. Sure, are you sure there are not five there, Bert? I'm sure. Take a look. See? One, two, three, four. Ernie! Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Move back, Bert. Uh, let, me, let me look at these cookies here. Uh, let's see now. Suppose if we uh, uh -huh. moved them around a little bit, you see, uh, and we could. Uh, Let's see, put them about like, uh... Uh-huh. That. No, now maybe it's five cookies, Bert. No, Ernie. No, no, no. It's still four cookies. Look. One, two, three, four. Oh. See? Well, uh, wait a four second. Four cookies. No, 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 no. five. Four, Ernie. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe, maybe if we moved them around a little bit, then we could, uh, move them like this, and, uh, put them like... So, <laughs> there. Now maybe it's five cookies. Ernie, it is still four cookies. Now look, look carefully. One, two, three, four. That is four cookies, Ernie. No matter how you arrange them on the plate, it's still only four cookies, not five. Four, Ernie. And uh, you, you don't want four cookies, Robert? I certainly don't, Ernie. If there's one thing I don't want, it's four cookies. Mm. Well, uh... I can I can fix it. I can fix it so uh, it isn't four cookies anymore. Well, well good. Now, go ahead. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, we can just... Uh... Hey, Gobert. Now it's not four cookies anymore. It's three now. Oh. 
So that's your teddy bear, huh, Farley? Uh, and he's going to the hospital with me. Uh -huh, yeah, okay. she takes him everywhere he goes. Well, that's good. It'll make him feel a little now, better. And you know, I'm not scared now. Oh, yeah. that's good. That's good. You're Nothing proud to of be him. afraid of, son. That's no. right. Your your parents are going to go with you. Oh, yeah. certainly. I'd like to come along if that's okay. Oh, oh well, that'd you be may. Neat. That would yeah. be lovely. Yeah. That'd be come cool. I know several people at that hospital. Right now, though, I think we better say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Say goodbye, Farley. Sesame Bye. Street has been brought to you today by the letter A and by the number 7. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.